Hi everyone, welcome back to Pharmagist. Myself, Dr. Haimavati. In the present video, we will be discussing about what is RF scoring function. In my previous video, I already discussed about what is scoring function and what is its importance and what are the different types of scoring functions. So if you have not watched that video, you can watch the video so that you will get a better idea about what is a scoring function. I will give the link to the video in the description box and now let's begin what is RF scoring function it is random forest scoring function so it is a machine learning algorithm it is a supervised machine learning algorithm so what is a supervised machine learning algorithm uh, basically what happens is in supervised uh, algorithms the data is stored so whatever the da when a function uh, is performed, it uh, takes into consideration certain amount of data. So suppose we are performing a study right now. We have given input certain amount of data and we have got the result and we did some analysis. And again, after some time, we perform another experiment and we want another result. So the data which is uh, present in the first experiment that will be also stored and present when we are conducting an another experiment this data also will be stored in that uh, database and likewise so whenever you are conducting any new experiment in giving input any new data all this data will be stored in the database or its uh, algorithm inside and based on the previous data and coming input every time whenever a new data is coming all this data it takes into consideration and the algorithm improves itself that is what is a supervised learning algorithm and it is an extremely popular algorithm so this random forest algorithm is an extremely popular one which uh, because it is used both for classification and regression problems in this machine learning it comprises of numerous trees and so the more number of trees the more robust it will be and it combines the decision of multiple trees in order to reach the final result and uh, the advantages with this one is its ease of use flexibility because it handles both classification and regression problems and this uh, random scoring function because it is a statistical method uh, so this random forest is a statistical uh, um, method so this was adopted into the scoring function by dr pedro j ballester in the molecular docking programs so we have a number of publications uh, uh, developed uh, by this scientist so he has developed a docking app also in which this uh, scoring function is implemented so this random forest scoring method it is a non-parametric machine learning method which is useful to calculate protein ligand binding affinity and it is an ensemble of decision trees which are generated from bootstrap samples of training data from PDB bind database with predictions calculated by consensus over all the trees. It uses atomic contacts as feature in this uh, development. So this is how the graphical representation of this algorithm looks like. So it takes input from the PDB Dyn database. So all these are protein structures with their ligands along with their protein ligand binding affinity data which is available in the PDB Dyn, PDB Bind database. So this data, uh, the information from this database is taken and an ensemble of trees is generated so here we can see uh, the ensemble of trees the highest value of p is 500 over here so each tree uh, a conclusion is generated and an average of these two conclusions is taken finally to get the final single result over here so uh, and on based on this a correlation analysis graph we can see here which uh, which is uh, compared using predicted by bind, ligand binding affinity and measured binding affinity from the pdb bind database so what are the advantages of this so it does not assume any prior relationship between the descriptors that characterize the complex and binding data and it is flexible to account for wide variety of binding mechanisms observed across diverse protein ligand complexes. 
it trains its constant trees using the cart algorithm cart cart algorithm and it is constructed in an entirely data driven manner in order to avoid modeling assumptions through non parametric machine learning uh, methods that means um, we, we have already have seen other scoring functions now which are based either on uh, physical methods and force field methods in which we are using uh, molecular modeling assumptions so in this uh, uh, function what happens is we are not uh, using any molecular modeling uh, assumptions in this it is entirely based on the data which is available and it has been shown to be particularly effective as a rescoring function which can be used for virtual screening and lead optimization purposes so after performing the docking when you are subjecting it to again uh, predicting the ligand binding affinity it is known as rescoring function so uh, they have compared with the, the performance of this uh, rf score function with all the other scoring functions which are currently available like the x score drug score sibyl chem score gold sibyl glide score uh, and chem score of the gold so uh, when they compared with all the other scoring functions which are highly popular and which are currently in use in uh, different uh, docking programs they have observed the r value and the standard deviation value and uh, they have concluded that uh, this rf score random forest scoring function is the best performer when compared to the other scoring functions and this rf score function is implemented in idoc docking program and uh, istar web server and they have developed a app known as docking app rf which uses rf scoring function and at uh, this uh, automates the rescoring procedure of the output of autodoc vena so they have found that the scoring function obtained a high correlation with the measured binding affinities on diverse test set and the disadvantage of this are because it is a machine learning based scoring function they are not uh, routinely used in docking programs that means whatever the softwares docking softwares which are available for us either which are popular and currently regularly in use none of these docking softwares use these machine learning based methods they are dependent on either knowledge based or force field based or physics based methods so because of this lack of corresponding user friendly software implementation so this is a disadvantage for the scoring function only the developers of the scoring function have implemented in a, in their own uh, docking app which is privately available so they have given a link in their website that uh, that i have mentioned that dr g pedro balester i have visited his website but uh, i couldn't find uh, any that the web server which i mentioned that it is i web server i star web server so it is a uh, the error message is showing that it is not uh, available so the website or the address is not available so if people who are watching this video if you find uh, the application somewhere so do give a comment in the comment box below because i have found uh, tried searched a lot of uh, uh, literature everywhere only it is available in the literature but the practically applicable uh, app is not available in the internet so if you find that link do give me that link also i hope you like this video and do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you for watching see you in the next one